What's up guys, this is going to be kind of a short video. Actually, it's probably going to be my shortest video because I'm not going to be playing anything. Instead, I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about the channel, some exciting news, and just sort of an update on what's going on with my YouTube channel. Um, about 16 years ago, we're going to take a quick trip back in time. About 16 years ago, I started getting frustrated with some of the, um, the lack of information and the lack of sounds truly representing guitar gear at the time and it wasn't like I can't hear what something that I could find at like my local guitar center sounds like it was more like I need to know what this Bogner sounds like or a diesel or insert any other high-end boutique brand that very few stores locally would have and you would always hear these hype reviews and glowing comments on forums like the old guitar guitar uh, forums like uh, Harmony Central Amp Forum was a big one, um, Seven String Org. Uh, there were rig talk. It, it was you would hear a lot about these amps, almost like projected as mythical in status. And then you would start trying to find out what these things sound like. And short of studio recordings, you would get maybe a guy recording with a webcam or a cell phone, 16 years ago cell phone quality, mind you. And it was it was bad and it frustrated me. And I kind of set out to try and hopefully you turn that. You can't do that in the contacts app. Really? So I kind of, I kind of made it my mission to try and see if I could do something a little bit better, at least with the gear that I had and borrowing friends amps and guitars and things like that and so about 16 years ago i started just making youtube videos and playing guitars and amps and things like that never had any intentions to monetize my channel which i still don't um i get copyright infringements left and right and get shut down immediately so there you go i just did it for fun i love playing gear i love playing different amps guitars things like that i'm just a gear nerd like probably most of you are so let's take a trip a little bit further back in time to the year 1995 when on the school bus I was a 14 year old kid and on the school bus I held this musician's friend catalog in my hands and fell in love with that guitar right there it is a Charvel San Dimas series 4 and just looking through the catalog, it was like a, I was like a kid in a candy store. Uh, let's see, for instance, 1959 Super Lead, 950 bucks. Pickups were $50. Like all the pickups were $50, $60. Um, the, uh, the Dave Mustaine King V. Jackson was $1,000. And like most of uh, my friends back then, $1,000 might as well have been a million dollars. But nevertheless, we would always read through these catalogs and just wish, like, what's that like? What is that like? How's that guitar sound? Or what does that amp sound like? And never having the means financially to do anything to fulfill those wishes and those curiosities. So that kind of brings me to the uh the subject of the video and that is first of all to thank all of you guys for over a decade of support i know i don't have a lot of subscribers and i never really set out to make it a mission to have subscribers but nevertheless a lot of you guys have enjoyed my content enough to subscribe to my channel and for that i thank you and so because of the support and the subscribers and the views of the channel and the videos that I've done, it basically has resulted in a partnership that I never really expected a channel as small as mine would ever get. Uh, but here we are. Uh, and the guys at Zounds Music have reached out to me and offered a basically a partnership um, as a uh, affiliate artist with them. And it's one of those things where I never thought that I would get that email, that phone call, have that conversation. And it's basically going to be, it's going to be this all over again for me, but with the means of trying out 
those things and satisfying those curiosities. But I think more importantly, at this point in my life, as a serious gigging musician, we play two, three times a month uh, sometimes. I'm curious how a lot of this stuff works on stage. And as a lot of you guys know, most of the things that I review, I take on stage. And I've got products that I've never really put on my channel because when I've taken it on stage, it really hasn't held up. It hasn't done what I thought it would do. And it's a little bit of a disappointment in that regard. But for me, that's where a product can truly shine when it's when it's pushed hard, especially amps. When you push an amp really hard on stage, how does it how does it react? It's very different from using an amplifier in a studio. You can get great sounds from pretty much anything in a studio, but when you're up on stage, it's a totally different ballgame. Same with guitars. Is a guitar gonna stay in tune? Is it gonna uh, is it going to play the way that you think it's going to play? It's Again, if you're at home, you can sit there and mess around. The tuning doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you can sit there and fiddle around and you know mess with, especially like floating tremolos, you can mess with the tuning and whatnot and all that good stuff. Or if the intonation isn't just right on you know, Les Paul. Things like that. So for me, gear really, it really proves its worth when it shines on the stage and that's kind of a direction that I would like to lean a little bit more with some of these products that I'm going to be testing out for you guys and what I'd like to do is I would like to have a discussion with you guys whether you're a subscriber or not I know that we've all been there we've all been scrolling through these online like on reverb we've been, been we've been on these websites and looked through these catalogs of gear and always wondered What's that like? Is that something that can fit into my workflow, whether it's as just a casual home player or as a gigging musician? Can this fit into my workflow? Can this fit into how I want to do things, but never really felt like spending money to find out only to find out that it really doesn't do exactly what you thought it would do and feel like you've kind of wasted your money? So for me, it's going to be an opportunity to try out a lot of cool stuff that I've always had that curiosity about and to see what's this really like. Is it like how I think it's like, if that makes sense? Um, because there's a lot of gear that I, I have these preconceived notions of what it's going to be like both here at my studio as well as on stage. But I'm not going to know for sure until I have it in my hands in both scenarios. And that's what I'd like to really try out with you guys. And I would like to have a discussion with everyone here about what are some of your gear curiosities? What are some pieces of gear that you've always wondered, how is this going to, what's this like? Because if you're a guitar player, there's so much gear out there that it's probably really rad that we just will probably never we'll never go out and buy just to just to poke around and play with it and maybe not make it a serious purchase because i think if you strip down what we really need as guitar players it's not as much as you know we all want you know let's be honest um i can go on stage with my jubilee a guitar and a cable and a 212 cabinet and get along just fine but here i am with pedal boards and going through Axe Effects 3s, going through the FM3, the Helixes, all that stuff, only to really need just a good old amp, cabinet, a guitar, and a cable. So um, there's a lot of stuff that I know all of you have been wondering about. So what I'm asking of you guys, go to Zounds' website and let me know what piece of gear, what guitar, what amp, what cabinet, literally anything, what pedal, what do you want to hear me try out both in my studio and on stage to really put these things through their paces as a musician who is working? Is this gear going to work for me? Is it going to pay for itself? That's the big thing. A lot of this stuff, it can pay for itself if you're a gigging musician. You know, we like to tell ourselves that, but you know, go on stage with a $2,000, $3,000 amplifier. It's going to take a bunch of shows to pay for something like that. But you know, we, we have our ways of justifying these things. Um, so yeah, uh, again, just a great, uh, a great opportunity for me, uh, again, one that I never expected, but 
I couldn't I couldn't be having this opportunity without you guys. It's all because of you. So thank you for the support. Thank you for the subscribes, the views, the comments, everything. I read every single comment on my channel. Uh, it's I don't get a whole lot of them, but you know I read them. I have time, and it's fun to engage in these uh, these dialogues because I'm a gear nerd just like you guys. And I just I love talking about guitar stuff. Um, I love learning new things about guitar stuff. So. Again, thanks to all you, and again, a huge shout out to the guys at Zounds. From this point on, all of my videos that are uh, showcasing gear that I've received from Zounds, um, they will have affiliate links for whatever it is that I'm showing on the channel. I'll have an affiliate link just for Zounds in general, so if you click on it, you can browse the website, and I believe any purchase you make uh, will hopefully uh, have a little bit of a kickback to me doesn't cost you guys anything, but it does help me out um, with the channel. Uh, I've got a couple of new little pieces of uh, gear here in the studio just to try and bring up the production value a little bit. But um, So yeah, anything in the videos that I use will have an affiliate link. A lot of the stuff that I already have um, on my pedal board, cables, um, some of the guitars that I'll use in the videos that I already own, um, amps, um, like little random little weird accessories and junk like that. Um, anything like that I'll have in the video description. We'll have an affiliate link on there. So uh, anything that you buy, I'll get a tiny little kickback and it'll help out a lot. It'd be greatly appreciated from me. Um, but even if you're not interested in buying anything, give that subscribe button a little love if you haven't already. Again, it'll help out the channel a lot. Um, there are some companies that I've reached out to, some manufacturers that I've reached out to, to try and get some of their gear on my channel. And if I don't get a reply from them, the reply that I typically get is that they're looking for channels with more subscribers, with more uh, reach uh, out into the public. So again, it might not sound like much, but every subscriber counts. So if you're not subscribed already, be greatly appreciated. Doesn't cost you anything, um, but it'll help me out a lot. So with that, I'm going to close out the video, and I think I'm under the 20-minute mark. Yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> no 45-minute video today. Um, anyways, two pieces of gear I've already got in the studio. Uh, one of them's in the garage, and one of them's back behind me. I'm not going to show them to you yet. Both pieces of gear have been on the stage twice now, and both pieces of gear have impressed me. So I'm going to be getting to work on those two videos, so stay tuned for those. And hopefully stay tuned for a whole lot more because my Zounds wish list is full of awesome stuff that I would probably never either be willing to buy on my own to just try it out for a curiosity, but uh, stuff that I've always wondered, hmm, what's that like? Well, we're going to find out. So again, if there's anything that you guys are interested in me trying out on my channel, uh, let me know. Shoot me a link, a product, uh, whatever the name of the product is, you name it. Just let me know. And and if it's something that I think will be cool, I'll try it out. And I'll let you guys know what it's out, what it's what it's about. And if you want me to take it on stage, let me know. I'll take it on stage. I don't care if it's a squire, you know, I'll I'll take the cheapest thing on uh, on their website on stage if that's what you guys want to know what it's all about. Um so anyways, this is going to be fun, guys. Uh, again, sound like a broken record, but thanks. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.